This is my motorcycle with uh, six uh, super capacitors in ser series, um, and that's the only thing I've got here powering the bike. There's no battery in here at all. Um, I have them currently charged at 14.2 volts, and I'll just show you kind of how fast the capacitors drain when I just turn the bike to the on position and the headlight kicks on. It's about a 55 watt draw. You'll see the voltage rapidly bleeding off here. And uh, when it gets down to about 10 volts, I'll give it a start and we'll see how many peak amps this thing um, pulls off of here. As you can see, it's drawing about five and a half amps uh, currently. Voltage is continuing to drop off as that headlight uh, just really draws down uh, the voltage here. And I will start it in a moment. And then once I start it, you'll see how fast the voltage rises again as the generator starts to charge it back up. So it took about close to 70 amps to start and you'll see that it held the voltage at about 14.67 volts. The voltage regulator doesn't allow it to go any higher than that. Um, so, so I can get away with just riding this with no battery, just capacitors. Um, the problem is though that there just isn't very much capacity um, for it to just sit long term without being charged. So if I let it sit for like four days, I will no longer be able to just start my bike using the capacitors. Um, so that's why I have a battery tender plugged in over here that will maintain the charge at about 14 volts. Um, but really that's unnecessary anyways. I can just bump start this motorcycle easily. So really running out of charge is never really a concern.